so much fallout. <laughs> Heritage Sports Podcast. We're here to talk about Brittany Griner being free, right? Everybody should be happy, but of course not everyone is. The person that is not happy is Michael Parsons, the Dallas Cowboys all around pass rusher Michael Parsons. Micah gets on the Twitter, right? He immediately tweets, Oh, y'all left the Marine over there. And and shout out to to Black Twitter who who Twitter searched his account. He has never, ever, ever talked about the Marine that has is over there in Russia. But he tweets in response to President Biden, we still not voting for you. I mean, I don't I don't know what these these guys are thinking. You know, it's just like, oh, let's let's just throw it out there and 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 just step in it. And then all of a sudden he deletes the tweet. He then goes on to say, my bad, y'all. I tweeted out of emotion. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a fan of, of the Democrats. Boy, you sound a real conservative if you ask me, because first off, you know what you hadn't mentioned? You hadn't mentioned that Jerry Jones, who you work for, your supervisor, was at a um, anti-racial integration event. No matter what side he was on, he was there and he acknowledged that he was there. And in the 30 plus years of him owning the Dallas Cowboys, he has never hired a black head coach. Had black players, black assistant coaches, maybe some scouts, nobody in the executive team, and not a black head coach. What does that say about you? And you hadn't said shit about that. And that's just the bottom line. So yet you hurry up and go to to Twitter and say, oh, yeah, we still not voting for you. You're sounding real conservative. And if you don't believe me, go to Twitter and see the names. Pass Rush Limbaugh is so funny to me. Then you got... NRA Ray Lewis. <laughs> it, it's it's been quite a bit. It's been quite a bit. Go check that out. But all I do know is he just was backtracking and saying, Oh, my bad people have talked to me and stuff. I have people in the military in my family. I'm like, Great, you qualify for USAA. You know, you can do commercials with Gronk. It's just so hypocritical to say, Oh, well, you left the Marine over there. There was no way they can get that person in this transaction. They're still fighting for them. The um, the Marine, Mr. Whelan's family came out and said that the administration is still fighting for him each and every day. And they did everything they could to include him in the transaction for this one. And they said no. But they were very excited and happy that um, Brittany Griner got out. That's his direct family. And yet you're speaking for him. And yet you're not speaking for those students in North Arkansas when Jerry Jones was there. You're not speaking for those black coaches that were interviewed and never got a chance to be a Dallas Cowboys head coach. You're speaking on one particular item and then saying we still not voting for you. MAGA Parsons. <laughs> That's what they calling you, man. That MAGA Parsons or 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 conservative Tucker Carlson like th that you're making Fox News look liberal with your tweets but hey hey man you you know what what better than us you have the military family background I got it but what we don't understand is why can't you be happy and and celebrate Britney he put out a following tweet not the first tweet three tweets later saying I'm happy Britney's home you wasn't happy two tweets ago when people were cooking your ass and you had to delete a few tweets. But we're just covering it. We just bring you our perspective from the way we see it. A lot of real-time breaking news just letting you know. It's shameful if you ask us.